What's up, Detroit? This is Jamal Baraka from GT Media Reviews. How you doing? Good evening. Just got off work and diving head first into some menagerie. So, one of the biggest news topics that is trending for today is the new Gillette ad. The best a man can be. And uh, it's, it's very divisive. It's a very divisive ad. It's not completely horrendous as people are saying, but it's not a good ad. And it's not a good ad because uh, it generalizes too many people. So when I say it generalizes too many people, I'm speaking to uh, when we speak on subjects such as toxic masculinity, being a male, uh, almost it almost feels as if having a penis automatically makes you a bad guy. And a lot of people say, well, you know, if it doesn't apply to you, then why are you getting upset? Well, I can't speak for everybody. So in this video, I'll speak for myself. I have two sisters. I have a mom, obviously. I'm a husband. I have three boys and one daughter. And I feel that I'm a pretty good good guy and I feel like most guys I've encountered in my life are pretty decent people now there are exceptions I'm not gonna say every guy is perfect or every every male in every situation does the right thing but I'm also not gonna generalize uh, men as being bad guys and I feel there's too many points in this commercial where instead of offering a balanced view on masculinity, it takes the easy hits and and, and degrades males. Uh, there's one point in the commercial where uh, it says uh, some men are doing the right thing. And I would argue that most men are doing the right thing. Most guys don't harass women. Most guys aren't bullying other guys most guys are just trying to find their way in life and be their best selves and even when you have these sorts of attacks everything is framed as the guy being a bad guy but you i mean you also have women out here that are just as bad and it's like okay well people are shitty kids are shitty everybody is has moments where they're not their best selves and they, and they can fall into these traps i've worked under males that have used their position to sleep with women around them i've been in jobs where women have done the exact same things to sleep with men using their power and influence to sleep with males and have been fired from their jobs matter of fact the first time that i received a promotion at work it was because my direct supervisor had slept with an employee and he told you know he, he things didn't go right he told on her it kind of sucks but i mean this is what what it is so when you hear these these stories and every instead of it being like well presented as a general issue in our society it's presented as being there's a problem with masculinity and a few months ago i did a review for Ricky ralph breaks well ralph breaks the internet and one of the problems I had with that movie was uh, Ralph's actions were presented as being toxic and mask toxic masculinity. And this is how the article sold it. The movie's about toxic masculinity. When the actions of that movie, when Ralph goes to save his friend and then gets upset because she wants to stay where she's at instead of coming back home, anybody would have been upset in that situation. It's not just a male, male problem. It's just anybody would have been mad in that situation. One of my kids, my, my daughter, she was harassed at school to the point where she was um, contemplating suicide. She was harassed by girls in her class. This wasn't like she was getting bullied by little boys. Kids are horrible. When I was a kid, I used to get bullied by boys. I used to get teased by girls. I was a friggin' nerd. I didn't internalize it and say, well, the guys, the, the males in my class, they were to inherently toxic. No, 
Everybody was horrible. And I know I'm not perfect. So, I mean, we're just, we're, we're, we all fall short. And I'm, I, as I watch this video, as I'm looking at the YouTube channel for Gillette, the video has 145,000 likes, 451,000 dislikes out of 6 million views. So I'm not the only person that feels this way. And I don't think that we should be dismissed for feeling this way. There is a discussion to be had. Why is our society so polarized? Why are we fighting along gender lines as opposed to getting to the root reason why kids are so crappy towards each other and adults are so crappy towards each other? And why do these predators hide? Are they why are they able to hide in plain sight? Not just the males. There went there are statistics that show in certain areas women are just as bad or if not worse than men. I'm not going to get into that in this video because this video is about Gillette and their and their uh, take on the subject, but it's it's something worth looking into if you have time, especially when it comes to kids. So, with that being said, I'm gonna bring this video to a close because I think I got my opinion out there as well as I want to. If you don't agree with me and you think this video is the best video that's that men can get, uh, respond. <clears throat> I appreciate all comments, whether you agree or not, and I also uh, invite you to like my channel, subscribe, uh, share it if you want to. You can check out my blog, uh, GT Media Reviews, or you can catch me on social media at Jamal is Trash, and that's at Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, most of my content is not on polarized issues. I mostly talk comics and movies and video games, but in this case, this one bothered me and just seeing the discourse online it's like you have these guys coming out here saying well just just making excuses for this behavior i mean for this this commercial and i'm like this this uh, before i shut this down part of the reason that pissed me off about this video is that i don't believe it's in good faith and the reason why i say that is because if genders were swapped and we were looking at this video and all of the, the people engaging in bad behavior were women i don't think that this commercial would have been made and i think that the the 451,000 dislikes would have been even worse so this was something that was calculated uh gillette wanted to go into this discussion uh it wanted the polarized um views because they wanted the attention more people were talking about gillette than i think probably have ever and it all was over a two minute spot so that being said already gave the pitch if you like my channel subscribe if you want to check out my comic reviews i'll link one in this video so you can see normally what i'm talking about or just check out any of my other videos i hope you have a blessed evening i'm going to try to record another video real quick have a good night